The software can be installed using the CD provided with the instruments or via an executable file downloaded from the Cirrus Research website. The software must be installed before the sound level meter is connected to the PC. Depending upon your computer network and or company policies, you may need to be logged on as an administrator. If in doubt, contact your IT department for assistance. The minimum computer system requirements can be found in the user manual. Insert the disk into your computer's CD-ROM drive. The program should start automatically. If it doesn't, then click Start, Run, and then type D, colon, backslash, setup, dot, exe, where D is the drive letter of the CD-ROM drive. Alternatively, download the executable file from the Cirrus Research website and save it to your desktop. Then double-click on the icon and load the program. You'll now be faced with a series of windows to guide you through the installation. Select your preferred language, then select the OK button. At the Setup Wizard, close any other applications, and then select the Next button. Accept the license agreement, and then select the Next button. Read the support information, and then select the Next button. Select the destination folder, and then select the Next button. Select the Install button. A window with a time bar will appear showing progress. Install the USB driver by selecting the Next button. When the USB drivers have been installed, select the Finish button. Select Finish to complete the installation and launch the software. There is some demonstration data already loaded for you to use when getting accustomed to the software. Note, a shortcut icon will have automatically been created on your desktop. Before measurements can be downloaded to a computer, the Def Defier 3 software must be installed. This section assumes you've already installed the software and have a plus version instrument. If not, the previous chapter explains the process to follow. The instrument is connected to the computer using the supplied USB cable. Make sure you've turned on the instrument using the power on button. Firstly, taking the end of the cable with a square connector, plug it into the instrument, noting the correct orientation and taking care not to force it home. Then plug in the other end of the cable, the one with the rectangular connector, to USB port on your computer. After you've opened the Def Defier 3 software, it'll automatically detect the instrument. Further information can be obtained from the main menu software section or from within the Def Defier 3 software help. The instrument can be configured using the configure panel. However, first ensure you've successfully connected the instrument to your computer and it's turned on. To access the configuration panel, Select Instrument from the toolbar and then Configure from the drop-down menu. A window will appear from which you may set the instrument clock or clear its memory of measurements. The Advanced button will extend the window and reveal further configuration options and allow the user to change the setup of the instrument. The Setup Name panel on the left lists a number of available setups, including the current one a default one with factory settings and the option to create custom types. Several standard setups are also provided as a starting point for various measurement types. These can be modified to suit. The setups are automatically saved to disk behind the scenes so your changes are always remembered. To send a setup to the instrument, select the Send Setup to Instrument button. The process is very quick and is completed in a few seconds. Select the Close button to return to the home screen. Once the computer and instrument are connected and the instrument is switched on, select Instrument from the toolbar and then Download from the drop-down menu. If the link with the instrument is successful, the Communicating dialog box should appear. Click on Individual Measurements in the list to select them for downloading. You can select multiple items by holding down Control while clicking or holding down Shift to select a range. Alternatively, use the Select All button. 
Select the Noise Database folder for the measurements to be downloaded into. Click on a folder name to select it. You can also create a new database folder if you wish. Click the Download button to download all the selected measurements from the instrument's memory to the database. During the transfer, a progress bar is shown at the bottom of the screen. When the measurements have been downloaded, the software will open the measurements into new windows. There are two ways of viewing measurements once they're opened. Table view and measurement view. Measurements can be opened using several methods, but the easiest is to simply double-click with your mouse. When a measurement is opened, a new measurement view window will open. When a measurement has been added to a table view, its detail can be viewed by double-clicking on it in the left-hand column where the arrow is shown. Time history graph will open, showing LEQ information acquired during the measurement period. Octave band measurements are displayed with the acoustic parameters down the left-hand side of the window and the graphical representation on the right-hand side. The graph will automatically scale to fit the available window space. The frequency bands are plotted along the x-axis of the graph with a level for each band represented by the height of its bar on the y-axis. The measurement data can be exported by selecting Tools from the toolbar, then Export Table or Export Time History Data from the drop-down menu. This will open the Export Data window in which many options are available for export. The measurement data graph or table can be copied to the clipboard for use in other applications such as word processors. Select Edit from the toolbar and then Copy Chart to Clipboard from the drop-down menu. When octave band measurement is opened, the Hearing Protector Selector button is activated. Click this button to open the selector. The software takes the noise level from the measurement and for each of the different hearing defenders and earplugs in the database, the assumed protection of the ear is calculated. If the assumed protection exceeds 85 dBA, the exposure time is shown. The value in this column shows the time after which the noise exposure of the wearer will exceed 85 dBA, even with the hearing protection in place. The selector can filter the results using a number of rules. Click the Colour Code by Assumed Levels box and the results will be colour-coded. Where the assumed protection is above 85 dBA, the colour will be red. Between 85 dBA and 70 dBA, the colour will be green. And below 70 dBA, the colour will be orange. Click the Don't show protectors with assumed levels higher than the criterion level box to remove any results that are above 85 dBA. Click the Add 4 dB to the assumed levels to add a 4 dB real-world factor to the results. This takes account of the realistic use of hearing protection and is recommended by the HSE in the 2005 Control of Noise at Work regulations. The information can be sorted by any of the columns by clicking on the column header. The information can be printed as a report with either the whole results list or an individual protector selected. Select File, Reports and choose either the hearing protector list or the individual protector. The broadband or octave band measurement report takes a single broadband or octave band measurement and presents a simple report. The process to follow is identical for both types. Double click on the measurement you wish to use for the report. It's less confusing if no other measurements are open. Select File from the toolbar and then Reports and either Broadband or Octave Measurement from the drop-down menu. A dialog box appears where you can select which data to include. Choose the options required and then select the Preview Report button. The Report Preview window will open and display the report and also allow further options such as the choice of printer and its setup as well as a quick or advanced export option. The Quick Export button will use the default export functions and provides the quickest and simplest export of data. 
The Advanced Export button allows the user to select a range of different features and parameters to be included in the export. When the Export button is pressed, Deftifier 3 will ask for a file name to save the file. When the file has been saved, Deftifier 3 will ask for the file to be open.